Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how I got the force feedback working on my G923 in Forza Horizon 4. So uh, this is actually before I applied the fix. The problem is that the wheel works in the game but there's no force feedback, no reaction from the wheel and no rumble as well. So as you can see, if I rip the e-brake, it doesn't even try to uh, turn us back into the opposite direction or anything and if we uh, go into the dirt there's also no uh, there's also no rumble no vibration the wheel is just dead there's no force feedback at all <laughs> as you can see we're drifting but the wheel is like just staying still not doing anything so the first thing you guys would want to get is VJoy from this website I'll leave the links in the description below for all the downloads required. It's gonna download this uh, .exe file and you guys have to set up and install it. And the next thing we want to get is Forza MU Wheel, which I will leave the link in the description below as well. We will want to click Forza MU Wheel and go all the way down to downloads. And it will download a zip file for us, which is right here. This zip file will contain everything we need. So uh, basically you guys can just unzip all of this to uh, anywhere in uh, into a folder which uh, mine, I have put mine over here, Forza MU Wheel. So after we got that done, we can start with our first step of applying the fix. First we want to run VJoy by typing, by pressing Windows key first and typing VJoy down here. And we are going to click configure VJoy, this one. And um, right here, since I already added my device, you guys are going to have an add device. Assuming you already have your wheel connected, you guys can just uh, press add device and it should detect your wheel. If you don't have any other controllers connected as well. So after that is done, uh, you want to click enable VJoy. I believe this is unchecked by default. And you also want to click on enable all force feedback effects over here. So once you click this, it will automatically enable everything. And we want to change this over here to 1, 2, 8, 128. And we want to click 4 directions and set POVs to 1. And then we want to click apply. So after that, we can minimize VJoy and go back to the zip file, which we unzipped just now. So we're going to focus on these three, Configurator, Forza MU Wheel, and Hush. So first, we can open the Configurator. And as you guys can see over here, we need to set each button on our steering wheel by ourselves. And uh, once you guys are done setting all your uh, key inputs, you guys can actually save the config. And every time you start up this configurator, you can just load the config file. It will be safe over here. So for example, if I click set over here, you can set, uh, let's say button 8. I believe button 8 on this wheel is this button. So once you press it, it will register. So as you guys can see, I've set up uh, most of my uh, wheel buttons, gear shifters over here. There's a uh, next gear, gear 1, gear 2, gear 3, gear 4, gear 5 over here. And if we go to force feedback over here, uh, I'm actually using the default settings because I've tried playing around with them and some settings the vibrations are actually uh, quite strong and uh, some of them even the centering spring is too strong as well so uh, I'm, I'm okay with just using the default settings after that is done the next thing we want to use is hush so we're gonna run this as administrator so basically mute and unmute um, you guys need to take note of this uh, these two are not something we click for fun um, basically when we click mute 
what it does is that it's telling your wheel to ignore the Logitech G Hub app even though it's open in the background and um, this is necessary for the fix for playing Forza Horizon 4 but if you guys want to play other games and you guys want to use G Hub you guys need to remember to come into hush and click unmute because once you click mute even though you restart your PC your wheel is still gonna stay in mute and Logitech G Hub even though it's running uh, as you can, wait let me let me show you as you can see even I set the centering spring to 100 or 0 or I try to turn the wheel around it's not turning in the Logitech G Hub app so that is what mute does and you guys need to remember if you want to play any other game other than Forza Horizon 4 you guys need to click unmute if not the game might not uh, pick up your wheel at all so uh, for this fix we want to click on mute and we can proceed to the final step which is the Forza MU wheels and once uh, once you've already configured all your key bindings your force feedback settings which I'm using the default settings you can uh, save your config and lo uh, load it uh, the next time you play or restart your PC uh, you guys already set all this and your settings we can go back to Forza MU wheel software and you guys can click on start so as you guys can see it shows Forza MU wheel is running you guys need to be very careful with the VJoy settings if one of these numbers are wrong it can prevent the Forza MU wheel from starting at all so you guys need to be careful for this one so right now we can launch our Forza Horizon 4 and you should be greeted by a screen saying that uh, your wheel is unrecognized or something but don't worry about that it's just that it doesn't recognize this as a Logitech G923 and that means we have to uh, assign all these key bindings by ourselves so as you can see if I press on this and if I press the accelerator it still it still works so you guys need to set all these settings all these necessary settings and the ones you want to use all right so now we're gonna test everything out with shifter as well as you can see the shifter is working when we shift and uh, I'm gonna try to drive right now it's gonna be some uh, feedback from the car as compared to when before we applied this fix so let's try to enter the dirt over here it's a bit of rumble the rumble is quite weak in the default settings but you guys can change the rumble settings in the Forza MU wheel a config file if you guys feel like the rumble is not uh, strong enough for you ouch so as you can see the wheel is very active right now after we apply the fix so if I go straight and rip the e-brake response in the opposite direction now we are testing in the AE86 so you guys can see there's uh, more feedback on the car now and if we rip the e-brake as well it's, it's gonna react in the opposite direction as compared to the last time before the fix there was no reaction so as you can see even if we go onto dirt it's gonna be it's gonna be slight rumble as well the rumble on the default settings is quite weak but I'm alright with it if you guys find that the rumble is uh, very weak and not strong enough for you you guys can change it in the uh, Forza MU wheel uh, config file uh, I mean the config settings 
So as you can see, the wheel is uh, more active now than just now. And if you actually hold the wheel, you can feel the rumble. And the wheel is actually fighting me right now, <laughs> as compared to before this fix. So, can we try to drift? Oh, yes! Oh! Okay, <laughs> still almost crashed. So guys, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to leave this out here. If any of you guys are still playing Forza Horizon 4 with this wheel and uh, not having any force feedback, I hope this video helped you with getting force feedback on this wheel. Uh, I'm not sure if it works on any other wheels, but so far... Uh, if you're using G923, it should work. I've been seeing a lot of posts on Reddit saying G923 force feedback uh, is not working. And I myself have experienced it, that the uh, force feedback is not working. And with the help of Forza MU Wheel, uh, managed to get it uh, working again. I, I hope this fix uh, works for you guys who's using uh, G923. Uh, I'm sorry if my English is very bad i apologize for that uh please help to share to your friends also if they are facing the same problem as you thanks for watching i hope it helped you guys